Welcome to the Science of Self-Healing. My name is Appaloosa. I am a holistic bioenergetic practitioner and owner of Light Body Energetics. And this is a series on my YouTube channel on the science of self-healing, igniting the healer within. And today's module is going to be on Sankalpa or intention setting before your morning routine. Before we get started, if you'd like to sign up to my email list for free offerings and infrequent emails, you can go to lightbodyenergetics.com, sign up for the email there, or go to my Instagram at lightbodyenergetics and go to the link tree and you'll find information there as well. So we are discussing the science of self-healing and I've been on a healing journey for the last seven years and from what I have learned I'm on a quest for knowledge I just want to share what I have learned with you each video is going to go over scientific research on the technique and then show you how to do it and how it's supporting the body's own innate healing process so today I'm discussing Sankalpa or intention it can also be an affirmation or a prayer so Sankalp in Sanskrit is intention and it's usually used for a yoga asanas you may have been in a yoga class where the instructor asks you or recommends that you set an intention for the practice we'll go over how to set a good intention but first let's go behind the science behind it there's actually a lot of research into intentions you can also tie consciousness into it but i don't want to go in so many different directions i'm just going to kind of focus on one little uh slice of research here and this is uh, with Dr. Emoto's water experiment. If you want to Google this, if you've not heard of this, Google Dr. Emoto's water experiment and you're going to see some beautiful images of crystal ice, they're actually ice crystal structures in these beautiful geometric shapes. And what that experiment was, he took Tokyo tap water and photographed it and there was really nothing to see there and then he had I, I believe it was a cohort of children, <laughs> school age children, stand around this Tokyo tap water and send it, you know, positive intentions. And then he photographed the tap water, uh, and let it freeze, and it formed these beautiful um, ice crystals. And so the studies actually was inspired to be studied and replicated. And so the study we're going to go over here is in 2006 a study titled Double Blind Test of the Effects of Distant Intention on Water Crystal Formation. So the links to these studies are going to be down in the description below. But the hypothesis was that water treated with intention can affect ice crystals formed from that water. And this was a pilot study done under double blind conditions. A group of approximately 2,000 people in Tokyo fo focused positive intentions towards water samples located inside an electromagnetically shielded room in California. That group was unaware of similar water samples set aside in different locations as controls. Ice crystals formed from both sets of water samples were blindly identified and photographed by an analyst and the resulting images were blindly assessed for aesthetic appeal by 100 independent judges. Results indicated that crystals from the treated water were given higher scores for aesthetic appeal than those from the control water, lending support to the hypothesis. And then this was replicated in a study two years later in 2008, and the uh, title was Effects of Distant Intention on Water Crystal Formation, a Triple Blind Replication, which also confirmed the hypothesis. Something to consider is that we are made up of roughly 70% water, and water is really interesting. It uh, can change structure, so it's cohesive due to its bipolar properties. It's a solvent, meaning it can dissolve certain things, and it's a vehicle in the body moving waste out of the body, toxins out of the body, and also bringing nutrients to cells. And it changes structure depending on temperature, so we can freeze water and water can boil. And in Ayurveda, boiling water for 10 minutes actually optimizes the effects of the waste removal and also uh, the penetration of cells. Okay, so let's get to the why and how. We're looking to set an intention for ourselves at the beginning of our practice. So whether it's before movement or yoga asanas or breath work or meditation, whatever your morning routine is going to look like, we're going to set this at the beginning. And why? Because sankalpa, as you remember, is an intention, affirmation, or prayer. So it's, it's an agreement with yourself that's going to unfold over time expressed through action. 
According to Richard Miller, PhD, the founder of the International Association of Yoga Therapists, Sankapos foster focused determination, motivation, patience, and perseverance, which helps you develop, sustain, and deepen a morning practice. And according to the ancient Veda text, the Rig Veda, resolutely follow and affirm your intentions for they line the path that enables you to overcome all trials, tribulations, and suffering. Following and affirming your intentions is the true path that leads to genuine happiness. So my next, my next dive into research is what the mind is made out of and microcharged dark matter. And if they're influenced by each other, we do know that, that everything in this universe, according to physics, is made of fields. And our intentions also impact fields. It's called social coherence. There's a lot of research behind that. So intentions on ourselves, on fields, on water, have a very, very significant impact. So I would take these sankalpas or intentions seriously uh, to, to start the rest of your day. Okay, so this is it. <laughs> How do we set our sankalpa? First, we're gonna sit in Sukhasana. If you are a male, you pull your right foot in first, and then the left leg. And if you're female, we pull the left foot in first, and then the right foot. You can also use a bolster or a pillow underneath your hips to elevate your hips, might be more comfortable. But in Sukhasana, it aids in digestion. It's good for the reproductive system. It uh, aids in loosening up the knees and the ankle joints, and it calms and centers the individual. So sit tall, make sure you're in proper alignment from your hips to your shoulders, head back, chin slightly tucked, Let's close your eyes for 30 seconds to a minute and just feel within your body. Say to yourself in a concise statement, a fact in present tense as if it's already true. This enables the subconscious mind to register your intentions as actualities instead of possibilities, giving them greater power to materialize. You can say, I meditate 10 minutes a day, seven days a week, or I'm grateful for my life every moment of the day. You can also tune into a certain emotion in the body. I am present with myself and my emotions. That's it. This is the start of your morning routine. Check out the next video in this series or check out some of my other videos on this channel. If you like this content, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on IG at Light Body Energetics and I'll see you on the next one.